finally made it to the end of the month, so that means it's time for another Blu-ray haul! And these months just keep on seeming to fly by and fly by. Like, I feel like I just did a Blu-ray haul, and here we are again. But if you guys happen to be new to my Blu-ray haul videos, I like to make them low-key, tell some stories, have some fun. Very little editing here, kind of stuttering on my words, and have some fun. And this month, I actually got like a collector's item that's basically sitting right here. I guess we can start with that. I got Baby Yoda, um, which was... So much fun. It's so cool to get when I unboxed it. I was like, God, it's so cute. I loved it so much. So that was really cool to get. It's only like 26 bucks on Amazon. So I was like, definitely got to go ahead and cop that. And then also, uh, The Last of Us Part 2, as most of you know, I think came out like a week ago, like a little over a week ago. And um, I never played The Last of Us uh, in one or two. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and order The Last of Us Remaster. It's like 20 bucks on Amazon. So I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and order this. And I played probably... I haven't played very much. I'm not very far into the game, but the, the hour, hour and a half I've played, it's a lot of fun. I'm not very good at video games, so it's definitely taken me a little while, but I'm having a lot of fun. I think the world building is so cool, and uh, Joel and Ellie are very, very cool characters, so um, I definitely, like, it feels like a movie kind of, too. Like, it feels so real and authentic, and I know they're making an HBO Max series on this, if I'm not mistaken, so... Um, dude, if you guys haven't played The Last of Us, this is, uh, so much fun, and after her, if I ever do beat it, if I, when I do beat it, I'm gonna get The Last of Us 2, and I'm gonna play that as well. A lot, a lot of fun playing this, though, for sure. And then, hopping into the movies we got, Sakura uh, is actually a recommendation from my buddy Chris, one of my good pals in the world, Chris from Film Stocks. He actually recently hit, he recently hit 500 subscribers, so big shout out to him. And also, he recommended this movie, Days of Confused, his favorite coming-of-age movie. I've never seen it. I'm a diehard Matthew McConaughey, a McConaughey fan. I'm having trouble, trouble speaking today. Um, so, I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and watch this, and I loved it. It was it was funny, it was unique, it was a really good coming-of-age story, and I really enjoyed these characters. The main character, Pink, it was obviously one of my favorite, and um, Ben Affleck's name's in the front right there, which I think is kind of annoying, because, like, he's a very minor, minor role in this film, and that's, it's fine, but I get maybe they're doing it for marketing purposes, purposes, God, I'm struggling today, but it's maybe doing it for marketing purposes that, like, hey, Ben Affleck's in it, so why don't you get it, um, but Matthew McConaughey as Wooderson, one of my, maybe my favorite, like, side characters ever in a movie, Hey, you got a joint? Nah, sorry, man. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> oh, man. It's so much fun. We get to hear him say, all right, all right, all right, and just keep living. So a really, really good, and like a movie you just don't take too seriously. You just have fun. You toss it on. It's a high school movie. all takes place within a day, and I really, really did enjoy Days of Confused quite a bit. Then, this is actually, uh, Sean Chandler talked about this last year. He saw this at a uh, film festival. Said it was really, really good. So I got it. It's VFW. And I've been wanting to see it anyway because um, it looks cool. It sounded cool when he was talking about it. And then I saw it at Best Buy. It was on sale for 4K for like 18 bucks. And I said, you know what? I haven't been to Best Buy in months because it opened this month. And a lot of happened in June. But it opened. I said, you know what? My ass is going to get it. So I did. I got VFW and I was so happy I did. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm excited to watch it. I might be watching this very, very soon. So VFW, if you guys have seen it, let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section. Next up, um, our last three I have are Steelbooks. And first up is, they'll never take our freedom! Braveheart is such a classic, iconic movie. Uh, Mel Gibson gives an incredible performance, and he directs this movie so beautifully. I used to watch the movie all the time as a kid, and then when I went to Best Buy, um, these Steelbooks that I got just all came out. I was like, no way! So I definitely got to have to pick up Braveheart. Very pretty Steelbook, very like shiny, and I love it so much. So this was really, really cool to pick it up. Um, haven't had a chance to watch it yet. It's, it's been a busy month trying to watch all these new releases and this and a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, Braveheart's always really fun to kind of toss on. Though. It's, uh, it's long, there's a lot of action, some really great battle scenes, and I love Braveheart, Braveheart quite a bit. Another great steelbook I got is Gladiator. I, I love Gladiator. I love Russell Crowe. It's a great Ridley Scott movie, but this steelbook's also very, very nice. It literally looks like it's shiny when he's walking up, um really really good and Walking Phoenix is very very good in this movie as well really good acting a really good story a revenge tale and um uh, I I like this I like this movie quite a bit I, it's been a while since I rewatched it but I'm definitely excited to rewatch it and um I like I said it's been trying hard trying to watch all these movies so I haven't had a chance to rewatch this yet but I definitely need to pop it in I've been trying to watch a bunch of new movies because I have a video I think it just dropped it. It's uh, 100 Movies I Missed, Part 1. 10 movies that I uh, talked about. So I'm trying to watch all these different movies and stuff to kind of get going on that list before the year's up. So that's a little side note for you. And last up um, is the Friday the 13th Steelbook. And this is actually on my 100 Movies I Missed uh, list. 
And I actually have never seen the original Friday the 13th. I haven't seen any Friday the 13th for that matter. So kill her mommy, kill her. I, um, I, I just enjoyed the steel book so much. So that's why I really picked it up. I was like, man, I, I am excited for it. And it was $14. I said, if you can get a four steel book for $14, why not? It was between this and Beauty and the Beast, the original one, which was $35, which I'll probably be picking up soon. But I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go Friday the 13th today because it's 15 bucks, and I really, really do enjoy Steelbook a lot. So there you guys have it. That concludes my Blu-ray haul for June. I always have so much fun doing these. So let me know down in the comments below what movies you guys got this month. Uh, this month, as I said, to keep on flying by. So do me a favor, guys, and hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Almost 500 subscribers. Be awesome. You can help me get there. Do me a favor and go see a movie. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.